Good morning, everybody. bit of a new setup going on hoping not to have any issues today with wi-fi and i've got a cable in here so um give me a thumbs up if you can see me and hear me okay Okay, 12.26, a few more minutes yet. I've just gone on early because I'm a little bit paranoid. I just want to make sure everything was working okay. This live video stuff is right there. We go. Okay, we'll see. We better now. Perfect. Good morning to those who are just joining. Um, gonna wait a few more minutes. Um, but welcome to our um, compound exercise with weights um, 50 minute workout with me, Emma Crow. Looking forward to introducing a few of you to weights today. If you haven't done them before, not if I've got some seasoned pros with me, then great. If I do have people with me who are used to using weights and have weights at home, you make your own decision in terms of what weights you want to use. I'm going to be using um, twos and one and a half today. Um, and I was thinking earlier, actually, that if people have managed to get hold of maybe one weight, maybe it's a two or a one and a half, you can still use your cans for some of the lower weight stuff um, when we are sort of things like when we do flies, they're, um, they're really quite hard. So um, a can may be absolutely sufficient for them and certainly body weight wouldn't be anyway. But it's sort of a bit stuck in see today anyway, I think for a few of you anyway, if um, you haven't used weights before, just to see what you've got. Hi, Charlie. Oh, hi, Katie Wilton. Well, do not be scared at all. This is the whole thing I was trying to get across yesterday. Women are so scared about training with weights. Um, it seems a really complex, um, or just a bit of a minefield, I guess. And you go into the gym and you've got all these guys grunting on these big, heavy, lifting heavy weights, barbells on these machines. Um, really, um, it doesn't have to be like that. I don't do anything like that. All I do is lots of sort of hand weight dumbbell stuff, maybe some kettlebells sometimes. So there is absolutely nothing to be scared of. And um, you won't even really notice you've got weights in your hand, to be honest. But what you will notice is that um, even if it's one kilogram, you're going to get a good workout from it. Um, all of the ladies that do my classes, Gail, you can vouch for that, can't you? FF Emma Clark's joining. Lots of ladies that come in and do my classes um, are always amazed 
by how much even a two kilogram weight can hurt when you're doing a lot of repetitive stuff. So it's gonna be a really good full body workout today. Like I said, we're also sucking it and see here. Um, see how you go with the weights that you've got. Um, I've, as I said to you, I've got weights here that I can happily lend out to people. Um, that really isn't a problem. I'm pretty kitted out um, in my little cottage here. Um, don't be scared. I'm just going to try and stay in the, in the right there. Don't be scared at all. And we're all in this together and it's going to be really fun. So where are we? Um, 12.29. Okay. So in, in about a minute or so, we're going to get started because for any of you that don't know me, I am really bad at running over because I try and cram so much into my classes. But um, just as a little bit of a heads up, we're going to go for four different sets today. Okay. Um, each set has got two exercises in it, apart from one of the sets that's got three exercises in it. And we're probably going to be aiming to be doing between 14 and 16 um, reps, okay? And then at the end of the set, we'll have a little bit of a job at the end of each round. So there's three rounds within each set. Oh, it's a bit complicated. We'll have a little bit of a jog it out. And at the end of each set, then we'll do a bit of hit stuff um, for, I think I've got down about three minutes. Um, Katie will turn you borrowed some one kilograms. That's absolutely brilliant. One kilogram will serve you really well today because um, that's heavier than you think, as I keep saying. But um, you'll see. I'm hoping this is all going to work okay today. Um, and I would personally like to get started. I think it's 12.30. So um, have your weights ready? Have your water ready? I must seem quite far away from everybody today with my new sets up here. Um, Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm not in front of my phone, it's completely different. Anyway, let's just march it out. I hope you're all well, I hope you can hear me okay. Take the glasses off and I'll go, I'll keep going back and checking. Right, if I go that way, right, that's the way it's gone. Okay, okay, let's just take it out. Strong arms, strong side march. Welcome to anybody that's just joining. You've done my classes before. I've got a slightly different setup today. I'm seeming a little bit further away, um, so there's absolutely no chance to come back into the middle of me reading anything on the screen. But I hope you can all hear me, okay? Take it out one more time. Just a nice wide march. Really use those arms. So we've got four sets to get through today. I'm going to try and do each set three rounds. That will depend really on how the time is progressing. Okay, now take it wider. Just hip width apart. Toes are facing forward. You're just going to come down for a little what I call a goblet squat. Like you're sitting in a chair. And then we're going to start bringing in some arms. Squat to overhead swing. So swing your arms back. Swing them up. Back and up, back, and up. Try and arch that back a little bit. Remember, we're just warming up here. Just started the warm up for anyone that's just dialed in, just wanted to get on. Okay, three more of these. Last one, step it a little wider, point your feet um, outwards and are not parallel and just little reaches, keeping your heels on the ground. We're just stretching out these inner thighs. So today we're gonna to be working our biceps and our triceps. We're working our deltoids, we're doing quite a lot of shoulder work. What else are we doing? Doing some back work as well. So as I explained to anyone that watched my video, okay, bring your knees back in and just jog it a little bit. Let's do some shoulder rolls backwards, leading with your elbow. For anyone that didn't watch my little video, um, I was just explaining that compound exercises involve legs and arms at the same time. Let's go forward with these shoulder rolls, which means, of course, that you're having to engage your core more because sometimes you really need to get the balance. Two more forwards, we're going for big arm circles back. 
Um, so he's working in core as well, and then of course you throw in the weights, and you've got a whole load of different exercises going on, a whole load of different muscle groups that you're working. Two more backwards. Don't just go through the motions with these. Really think about really in your full range of motion, brushing your ears with your elbows. Okay, I'm gonna give you legs a shake out. We're just gonna come down to just a little bit of a plie squat. Arms up, I'm pulling, pull down. Still warming up here, guys. Slightly less frenetic class today. Nice thing about these weights classes is we may have a little crazy bit sometimes between sets, but it's largely nice and slow paced. Okay, we've got two more of these. Now you're gonna hold it down. And you're just gonna grab your ankles if you can and just do a little pulse. Pushing your, using your elbows to push out your hips, just to warm up a little bit. Hips, hips open, five, four, three, two, and then we're just gonna bring it in. I want you to jog it out on the spot, keep jogging. Turn that down a bit. Keep jogging. Okay. I'm just gonna do 30 seconds of fast feet here. Are we ready? Let's go. Still warming. You don't have to go crazy. Use those arms, use those legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, excellent. So, take off any items of clothing that you need to take off. Grab your weights. You just need one weight for our first exercise that we're doing. I was going to slip off my top quickly. Right, so this is the, this is a set where we've got three exercises. Okay, the first exercise in the squat is a goblet squat again as we just did in the warm-up. Feet are hip width apart, feet are parallel. Toes are facing the device that you're looking at me from, and you're going to hold your weights in this position and your simple. This is a nice, easy one to start. That's your first exercise. Your second exercise is my favorite exercise. It's a shoulder push press. Weights are up here, feet are hip width apart, doing that same squat again, but as you come up, you're pushing up with the weight, finishing the weights at shoulder height, okay? And the third exercise, you're just gonna take a nice bend, flatten your back, and you're just going to pull up. So pulling exercise, bent over row, okay? That's your three exercises in our first set. So, get yourself into position, hold your weight out about here, so it's not there, it's slightly higher, okay? We're going for 12 on these squats, let's go. So are your feet parallel? I can't see you, but I'm an absolute stickler for form on squats. So I want them to be parallel. Are your knees going forwards directly over your ankles? They should be, I don't wanna see knees going in. I don't want to see knees turning out. You should be able to feel this a little bit. Also, the final reminder on your squat, tuck your pelvis under as you come up to finish the squat. We've got two more. Here's your last one. Now you're coming back down and we're doing the pulse. That's just little movements for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and up. Brilliant. Okay. Pick up your other weight. If you've got the luxury of having lighter and heavier weights with you, you can err on the side of a slightly heavier weight on this. If you're just using one weight, that's, of course, absolutely fine. 
So, got one squat again, feet are hip width apart, we're down and we're pushing up. Down, push, down, push up. All the way down, come back to shoulder height and then drive it up. That's 10 to go on these. Are you maintaining the form on your squat? You've got quite a few things to think about here. Finish the squat as you come up. We've got four to go. Strong arms, full extension of the arms. Reach for the ceiling. Last one here. Then we're coming back down. And yes, you guessed it, we're pulsing for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, well done. Give it a shake out. Okay, last one in this set. So what you should imagine you're taking a bow. So bow it down. Keep your head down. I don't want any heads coming up like this. Keep your neck in neutral. And all you're simply gonna do is pull your weight all the way up to your armpit. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. 10 to go. That's the last five. Okay, hold it here. And just little pulses up. Little, can keep the weights up by your armpits and just push them up a little bit higher. Squeeze the shoulder blades for five, four, three, two, one. Well done, excellent. Give yourselves a shake out. We're going straight into the second round of these, okay? So, with endurance, resistance uh, training like this, low weights, high reps, you don't need to have breaks in between particularly. So when you start doing hypertrophy um, and strength work, it really, it's just really incorporates some breaks. So, hold your weights out in front of you. Are your feet hip width? Are they parallel? Here we go. We're just gonna go two rounds. I'm looking at the clock, thinking the time's just gonna evaporate. So I want to get you on the floor as well and do some core work as well. Okay, this is the halfway point on these. Last day of the day. Tuck your pelvis under as you come up. Can you get that weight a little higher? Breathe. Four, three, two, last one. Hold it up and pulse it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You should be burning. You, should, you can shout at me. I don't mind. Okay, are we ready? Shoulder push press. Again, feet are hip width apart. Shoulder, um, weights at shoulder height. Squat it down, push it up. Squat it down, push it up. Down, drive it up. All the way down, all the way up. Tuck the pelvis under as you come up. Okay, that's eight, that's halfway. Four to go. Okay, and down. And now it's the pulse. These should really burn. You've got eight. Can you get lower? Five, four. Yes, you can. Three, two, one. And up. Well done. Easy one to finish. Okay. Bend it forwards. Get that nice flat back. Your weight should be directly below your armpits. You're going to pull them up and down. That's halfway. Looking down at this floor, remember. Four to go. 
Now hold it and little pulses up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, brilliant. End of round one. Jog it out. Okay, put your weights down. I'm going to give you a little break in a minute. We're going straight into some jump squats. We're doing 16 of these. That's 11. Okay, then you straight down onto your mat. And we're doing 16 plank jacks. Let's go. Into a little bit of fast feet. Our next exercise we're doing is a standing chest press and flies. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, now we're down into power squats. So down, what am I doing? So down and up. Down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up, down, up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Number five, straight into mountain climbers. So back down onto your mat, get yourself into a position. And we're just going to run the mountain climber through. Right leg, right knee to right hand, left knee to left hand. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. And the last exercise, we're doing what I call my froggies. So, for your hip width, get your elbows, tuck them right inside, and all I want you to do is bend and straighten your knees. You are not moving any other part of your body voluntarily. You're just bending and straightening. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, hold it down, hold it down for the pulse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Well done. Okay, grab yourselves a quick drink. Time is flying, so we're going to press on. I'm just going to demonstrate quickly what we're doing next. Set two, two exercises, two rounds. Standing chest press. Tuck your arms, tuck your weight under your armpits. You're pushing out and in. Okay, keep your elbows tight. This doesn't look that hard, but trust me, when you've done a few, it starts hurting. Okay, so that's the first exercise. Straight into a fly. This is where you need a slightly lighter weight. So if you have the luxury, I'll probably go on to a one and a half for the flies. If you just got one weight, use it all the way through. On the flies, if you're struggling, just do body weight. Or if you've got the cans, which are much lighter, pick up the cans. Are we ready? Here we go. Push, pull, push, pull. Elbows tight. Tuck your pelvis under. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. That's halfway. Six to go. Are you tucking under? Four, three, two, one. Well done. I'm just going to pick up my lighter weight. 
Okay. Come a little wider if you want for these. If you want to hold it down into a plie position, you can. That's optional. You might just want to be focusing on the arms. These tend to hurt. They don't look like much, but then suddenly they do. Can you give me six more? Here we go. Six, five. Drop it down if you're plie. Three, two, one, and up. Well done. Excellent. Have a quick drink. Hope you're all okay. Oh, okay. Excellent. Into position. Give yourself another 10 second break. Let's so open my cup, my door here. Right, so into position, feet hip width apart, starting position with your weights underneath your armpits, ready to push and pull, push and pull, that's one. Full extension of these arms. That's ten, we've got six to go. Slight bend at the knees here. Okay, well done. Swap to your other weight. Come into your plie position. If you want to, are you ready? Here we go. We're going for 16. Drop it a bit more. That's halfway. Strong arms. 13, 14, 15, 16. Well done. Okay, we're going to go for one more set of those. Give yourself a little bit of a shake out. Grab a quick drink. Hi, everybody. Oh, I've got a few joining us, which is fantastic. Hope you're all okay. So we've got one more round of these. Then we're going straight back into our hit, and then we're going into some biceps and triceps work. Okay, so feet are hip width apart. Last set of these. Tuck your elbows tight. Tuck your weights under your shoulders, and let's go. Halfway. Four to go. Okay, hold it out. And middle pushes forward. Yes, you can. Seven, six, five, four. Took your power under. Three, two, one. Hopefully that burned a little. Straight back. Plie position. This is your last set of your flies. If you're really hurting, you can drop the weight. That's two. Really pull back. You're halfway. Drop it down a little bit more. Six, count with me. Five, four, three, two, one. And little pulses, and little with the legs as well. Five, four, three, two, one, well done. Oh, where's that come on there? Not best, okay. Okay, right, straight back in to the hit. So, and I realised I did my power squats wrong. I knew I was doing something wrong. Sometimes you're on camera and you think, what am I doing wrong? And then you realise that. Okay, so it's a straightforward jump squat. But let's go into sumo style. So we're slightly wider. So your feet are outside your body. You're going to come down and jump it up. Sinking back down into the heels and pushing your bottoms back. So it's a slightly different squat. Okay. 
really reach high. You've got seven to go. Really squeeze it down, push those bottoms back, sink into your heels. Last two. Okay, straight down into your plank jacks. As I said, it's not so frenetic today. Let's get ourselves down into position and here we go. We've got 20 of these now, we're slightly increasing. That's halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. And you're up. Okay, straighten to your fast feet. This we're doing for 30 seconds. Find that little rhythm. Go a little bit faster if you want to. At your own pace. Remember if you're feeling ill at all, unwell at all, at any point during the class, just take a break. Hydrate. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, the power squat that I was being a numpty on before. I knew I was doing it wrong. Four, five, all the way down. Six, seven, eight, nine, Halfway, and then we're gonna pull these down, 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 halfway, last four, half on those, I meant, last two, last one, okay, and then we're down to your mountain climbers, so get yourself into position, hands under your shoulders. This time we're going cross body. Halfway, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Oh, okay. And then straight into our froggies, remember. So your feet are hip width apart. You're coming down, you're tucking your elbows inside your knees. And you ask, do not move your hands. Shove your elbows right inside your knees there. Bending and straightening your knee. How straight can you get it? We got 10, nine, eight, Seven, yes you can. Six, five, four, three, two, and hold it down for the pulse. For ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, were you burning? Give me a thumbs up and let me know. I'm not sure if the thumbs up thing works on my computer like that. Right. As you're just recovering, hydrating, we are back into a plie squat. We're doing some bicep curls, okay? Very, very simple. Elbows are tight all the way up, all the way down. Okay, for our triceps, so you work the opposite muscles, you're gonna lift your knee up. Right, how to explain this? I'm gonna do this from behind, you are brushing the back of your head with your weight. Your elbows stay high. All that is move, the movement is just that move there. So this is all still here, okay? And with the legs, you're just bending and straightening. That's a classic compound, that one. Okay, so get into position. If you're used to doing and um, plie squats, then go slightly wide. If you're not, then just listen to your body. The secret here is to press your knees back and tuck your pelvis under. Are you ready? Here we go. Yeah. 
you're halfway. Four to go. Are you tucking your pelvis under? Are you, are you pressing your knees back? Are you bringing the weights all the way down to the top of your thighs and all the way up to your shoulders? Last one. Now I want you to hold it here, okay? And I just want you to come up through 90 degrees. Look at my elbows, they're tight. Just a 90 degree. Four, three, two, one, and then down and up through 90 degrees. Okay, tuck under, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna go straight into those triceps. So get your knee up. Other weight should be here, and you, and you straighten. Okay. You're halfway off to this one. Focus on something in the distance if you're feeling your balance is going a little off. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, my legs were hurting there. I'm going to do this backwards so you can see the position of my arm. Um, so lift up your other leg, straighten and bend. Keep the other weight up at your chest. Get that knee as high as you can. You should be touching the weight to the base of your neck. Halfway. That's four to go. Well done. Oh, I don't know about anybody else, but my legs are burning there as well. Oh. Okay, so you just, notifications are coming up. Okay, fantastic. So, now our next round of biceps. And again, I should have said with these, your biceps are really big muscle. So again, you know, people who are expert at weight training anyway and have their own weights will know that they can use heavier weights with these. So get back into your plie squat position, 102. Okay. Got to keep the focus going here. Are we ready? So come a little bit wider if you can, a little bit deeper on that squat. Are you ready? We've got 16 reps. Let's go. All the way down, all the way up. Important to finish these moves. Full range of motion here. Press your knees back. Tuck your pelvis under. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. It's all about the posture as well. It's all about your form. We're halfway. Okay, now hold it. Up and down, double time. That's six. Half, you know, you're going halfway, remember. Just through 90 degrees. Four, three, drop it down. Two, one. Okay. I'm just going to turn this way so you can see better. But this one up and down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Straight into. I just want to hear that music as we get done for copyright. Okay. Are we ready? Straighten and bend. That's halfway now. Eight to go. Last eight of the day. Four, three, two. Now hold it and little pulses, little pulses for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, other leg up, other elbow tight. 
and then be just I'm gonna come back a bit in the weights extend keep the weight up sorry I forgot to remind you there try and keep the weight up the other weight we are halfway off to this that's eight to go four three two one oh I've forgotten the pulse here we go ten nine eight seven six five four three two one well done okay straight in to your jump squats jump it down reach it up jump down and up Halfway. Two more. Straight into your plank jacks. Get yourself into a position. Look at your hands. Are they below your shoulders? Here we go. Halfway. Okay, and up, straight to your fast feet. Keep it going. Just jump his hat. Little heart raiser here. Into your power squats in a minute. If I can get them right again. Speed it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Here we go. Little breather. Stop down here. Remember, you can do all this stuff lower impact. And now you're going to bring where a down and in. Nine. Step as high as if you need to. I haven't said that enough today. If you don't like high impact stuff, don't put the hops in on these. Just step one leg first and then the other. Down to mountain climbers, froggies, and then our last set of weights. Okay, that's how we're looking. All right. Everybody down. It's 10 straight, 10 cross body. Here we go. Cross body 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Straight into. Oh, my heart rate's up, but you guys, 130 something, so, okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, now hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and up, okay, Split squats, deltoid leg raises. Okay, right. So these arms are quite hard actually. Um, we're in a split squat position. Just rest a minute, just grab your waters. That's your split squat. So your training leg shouldn't be too far back so you don't get that nice 90 degree bend in the training knee. Your arms are what I call the YMCA move. This is your arms. Your palms are, they're not turned down, they're not facing the computer, they're facing the ceiling. It's quite a hard move. It's the Y of the YMCA. <laughs> That's the best way to remember it. I'm going to go lighter, I'm going one and a half. 
It may be tin can time for some of you on these. And watch when I go. So join in when you're ready. Let's start now. Two, three, four, five, elbows tight. Six, seven, eight, bring it in for the pulse. We're just doing eight each side. Seven, six, five, drop it down more. Three, two, one, brilliant. Swap sides. Okay, so you're on the ball of your foot and your chaining leg. Okay, just have a practice. Get into position. Okay, down, push, down. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, come down, pulse it for eight, seven, knee should be pulsing two, four, three, two, one, well done, okay, pick up your, I'm going for slightly heavier weight again, I'm going up to two, okay, as I said, work with what you have, just down, I'll just demonstrate quickly, you are, my, tread, my foot doesn't come back down to the floor. It doesn't swing past, it just meets that other foot and then comes up again, okay? The weight on the front deltoids, good shoulder work this, the weight just come to shoulder height, okay? We're gonna go 10 each side. Are you ready? So here we go. Your foot is flexed, or not overly flexed, i.e. toes are coming up towards you, it's not pointed. So it enables you just to tuck that heel back in next to your other foot. Okay, hold it out for the pulse. Eight, seven, leave the weight at shoulder height. Point the foot now for five, four, three, two, one. Try not to lean back. Okay, other side, are you ready? Here we go. Seven, eight, hold it out, point, flex it first of all for five, bring your toe towards you, three, two, one, now point, five, four, three, two, one. And now, oh, watch this time, my God, it's whizzing. Okay, now we're going lateral delts, sides. We're gonna do both at the same time. I'm gonna do eight one leg and eight the other leg. So this is your move. The weight should come above shoulder height here. Try not to be the leaning tower of Pisa here. Try and keep your body upright. Two more this side. And now hold it, five, turn, turn your toe down, four, three, two, one. Woo, give yourself a bit of a shake. Got eight more on the other side. Are you ready? This is our last set today, guys. See, I'm a bit more wobbly this side. Get those weights above shoulder height. I don't want to see bends in those arms. Last one, and now hold it. Eight, seven, turn the toe down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh God, you should be burning. Okay, grab a quick sip of drink. Last round of these. The good news is not doing any more here. One more round of these, and then we're down on the floor just to do a few abs with our weights, okay? So, into your split squat position. So your feet are parallel, but just in a slightly different plane. Your toes should be facing your monitor or your phone. Not too far apart so you don't get the nice 90 degree bend. This is your starting point. We're down and we're up. 
Try and get that trailing knee as far as you can down towards your mat. I know you've got lots to think about and your arms are probably tired, but good form is essential. Start as you mean to go on with that. One more here. We're coming back down and we're pulsing for eight, seven, six, try and get them a little higher, five, four, three, two, one, Okay, other leg, last step today. Are you a little bit wobbly? Are you okay? Down and up as you practice, here we go. Last three. Oh. And I've just slightly heavy weight with these this time and I noticed it. Seven. Get them out more. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, that burned. Okay, are we ready? Give yourself a little shake, straight into the delts, okay? Remember these, we're going to the front first of all. I'm back to my right leg, it looks like my left on camera. Here we go. Last one, bring it back down, then bring it up again. Point it for five, four, three, two, one. Flex it for five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Other side. Are you ready? Here we go. Remember to slight flex at that foot to allow it just to tuck back in to the other one. Don't swing it past. Control the upward as well as the downward face. One more, and then we're coming up, pointing it for five, four, three, two, one, flex it for five, four, three, two, one, well done. Okay, our last set, lateral delts, lateral legs, start off with them, um, I start doing my right, it's left on there, are we ready? Same principles apply, you just bring that leg into the other leg, but you don't put that foot on the floor. You know what's coming, you're going to hold it up, point the foot down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hand down. Okay, are you ready for the other side? Let's go. That's halfway. Last two of the day. Now hold it up. Point the foot down. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Hold on. Three, two, one. And done. Oh gosh, well done. Oh my goodness me. Isn't it amazing? How weight training like this can make you slightly out of breath. Probably because I've been naturally so much as well. So 118. What did I tell you? I slightly run over. Just want you to get down to your mat and get one of your weights. Okay. It seems to be like really far away from you today, but hopefully you can see and hear me okay. So I'm just gonna bring this a little bit further forward so that you can see me. We're gonna get into a um, Tabletop position. Okay, so should be a nice 90 degree bend here. Slightly lift legs apart, hold your weight, and as you come up, I just want you to look at the ceiling. Do not put your chin on your chest. You're just folding to your diaphragm. Imagine you're in one of Kate's classes doing a nice little crunch. There should be a little bit of a shake at the top, but you're not going up too much. Are you in a nice tabletop position? You've got four, three, two, one. I want you to hold it up. 
No chins on chest. Keep that lovely gap between the chin and the chest. And we're pulsing for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Okay. Come up. Okay, so with this one, you can keep your feet on the floor if you want to. Or you can have them up off the ground. Hold your weight at either end. We're just going to do some Russian twists. So I'm going to do them in this position. The secret here is to follow the weight round with your eyes. Watch the weight as it goes down and hits the floor from side to side. That's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Right, on your backs again. Just go to another set of the crunch of the Pilates crunches, I call them with the weight. So holding your weight, making sure you've got lovely 90 degree bend, and let's go. Just pulling up. You don't come all the way back down to the mat with your head. You just hover and then pull back up. But the most important thing is to keep the lovely gap. Keep your spine in a lovely neutral position. No chins on chest. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and now hold it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Okay, back into your Russian twists. Like I said, keep your feet on the floor if you want to. And um, high, slightly higher impact, take them off. We're going to go for 16 reps. Are you ready? Follow the weight round with your eyes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right, everybody into plank. I couldn't do a class if I didn't introduce a plank at some point. So, get into your best plank position. All right. I'm timing you. So, I like to roll it first and foremost over the balls of my feet. We're slightly over, but not too bad. We've got everything I want to do, which is great. Roll it. You should feel those core, that core really engaging. And also, after doing those abs, you're going to be tired as well. But try and stay with me. This is your final push. You are halfway through this plank. Now hold it still. Yes, you can, guys. Come on. We've got 20 seconds. And then we've done a minute. We are down to our countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, well done, everyone. Oh, let's take it back into child's pose. Just, woo! Okay, but you're all okay. Well, we seem to have got through that without any breaking connection. Unless I disappeared and didn't realise. Hurrah, hurrah. Oh. So just relax there for a minute. Makes me have a breath blanking like that. Nice deep breaths in and out. Two more breaths. I want you to come up into a lovely cat stretch. Okay, so take a breath in and tuck your chin to your chest. And as you exhale, just lift that head up and flatten out that spine. Another breath in. And as you exhale, just reach it up. Don't just go through the motions. I always say with these stretches, really think about them. Take a breath. Imagine someone's got a cork in your spine and they're lifting you all the way to the ceiling. Tuck your chin in. And as you exhale, oh, just flatten that out. Okay, I want you to tuck your feet under. Come up into a kind of downward dog position. Where I want you to be is your heels are just touching the ground and you really, it's really painful. 
Walk your hands back a little bit more if it's getting really painful. Push your knees back, try and straighten your legs. I always think my legs are straight, and I look back at these replays and they're like, no, they were really bent. But they feel straight. Push your bottoms up and back. Push your head up and back through your shoulders. And let's hold that for 10 seconds. And then you're going to walk your hands to your feet. Touch your toes if you can. And then just roll it up. And then we're just going to go into um, a calf stretch. This is the way I like to stretch out my calves. Um, again, feet parallel, facing your device. Pushing forward through the bent knee, pushing back through the straight leg. Heel must be on the ground. Really lean forward through that bent knee if you're not feeling the stretch on the lower part of the training leg and let's stretch out the tricep at the same time. We've run over by five minutes. I'm hoping a few of you are still here stretching. Just wanted to get that last stuff in. Okay, let's swap sides and take a step back. Okay, so that training, heel should be firmly on the floor for you to stretch out that calf. Stretch out that tricep here, kind of double whammy. Well, I hope those who have never done a weights class before enjoyed that and it wasn't too intimidating. And um, I hope that you had some suitable weights that you were able to feel the resistance and have a good workout. Okay, now I'm just going to step it up into a quad stretch. So thighs are parallel, tuck your pelvis under. Always good to get feedback, um, what you liked, what you didn't like. Love to be able to be on Better Together Dorset with this class now, actually. Get a few of you doing a bit more resistance training. As I said the other day, so many wonderful benefits to it. I advantages, I meant benefits. It's a bit funny when you're sort of doing stuff live and you're ad-libbing, tend to waffle on. But yeah, certainly lots of advantages to resistance training and not just with big old heavy weights. The nice light weights are equally as good. Okay, we're just going to do one final little salutation that's come up. And let's just reach out and just hang down. If you've got a moment, just take a quick moment before everybody rushes off to whatever it is they're doing. Take a couple of breaths. Just chill. That's what you're doing all the way up. One, that's all right. At a time, I'm just give me two shoulder rolls back. Give me a couple of shoulder rolls forward. Give everything a little bit of a shake out. And um, give yourself a clap. Well done, guys. Thank you to everybody for joining me. And, um, as I said, feedback's always good. If you want to give me some feedback, and uh, hopefully I look forward to seeing a few more of you next week. Take care now. Have a great weekend. Bye.